what is up everyone I'm gonna be doing a deck profile today on diva hero zombies the link to the dueling book version will be in the description for people that just want that but for people that want long explanations of why every card was chosen yeah uh this is the deck profile for you i guess uh this is the deck that i would have played at rbet maryland i was planning on going uh registered to go and everything but i did not end up being able to make the tournament but I thought about it a lot, basically. Like, a lot of theory crafting went into choosing this deck for the event. So yeah, um, I guess I will show the build. First off, three Deep Sea Diva, obviously. Diva Hero. One Gilman. Uh, Stratos. One Prodigy. And then two Mali. That, that's the heroes in the deck. And then the zombies. One Zombie Master, one Mizuki, one Plague. Uh, Reaper, Double Goblin Zombie, two Pyramid Turtle, that's pretty standard, but I guess it's one of the only ratios so far that requires any, like, choice, I guess. Um, so yeah, just two Pyramid Turtle. Sangan, grab whatever. I was looking at people's builds for Diva Hero Zombies, and there's not actually really that consistent of a build. Meaning, like, there's not, not every build runs the same, like, cookie cutter cards. Sangan seems amazing, though, can grab every card in the deck. Uh, Gores and Trag, and then Dark Arm Dragon, and Caius the Shadow Monarch as the final two monsters. So basically, actually, the theory behind why I chose this deck, it's not some super complicated thing. I did have, like, full-on sticky notes, like the Always Sunny meme, laid out with things written on them. But I settled on this deck because I can run Caius, I can run uh, Dark Arm Dragon, and I can run Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. And it's like, yes, obviously you can run those cards. But when you look at the format as a whole, there's like a ton of, or there's a handful of really strong kind of boss monsters. Zero, Caius, uh, Dad, Machina Fortress in my opinion, and then cards like JD that are more archetype specific that you have to build around. So... I can run three of the boss monsters of the format in this deck without, like, compromising and forcing it, basically. So that is the theory behind why Diva Hero Zombies for this event. It was not, like, a meta call based on what I thought Amaryllis and GBs or whatever based on Nats. Like, it was not a meta call based on that. But anyway, back to the deck. Heavy, MST, Brain Control, Future Fusion... I guess the most interesting thing that would have been in my deck if I had topped with it or something is Burial from a Different Dimension in the main deck. This is a combo card. Like, this is an extender, as they'd call it in modern. In addition to countering those main deck Radiaris, weird main deck DD Crow, macro deck, stuff like that. Like, not only does it counter, like, it's a card you'd side in. This is a combo card. This sets up another zero. It sets up another plague play, another Mali play. Like in this deck, it's a ridiculous card. Same thing with Allure. Allure is a combo card in Zombies. You banish something on purpose that you're going to return back. Three Miracle Fusion, obviously the bombs of the deck. Summons one of the strongest monsters in the format. Uh, Mirror Force, Solemn, Call of the Haunted, Torrential, Dust Shoot, so just all the staple, or all the one, uh, the traps that are at one. Um, return, obviously another bomb in the deck, if you resolve this you're probably winning. And then uh, I was going through the deck and I was like, am I missing a bottomless? No, I, I'm doing the thing where you run one bottomless and then if they see it, at least they have to play around the second. And then the other two trap cards in the deck are two Regeki Break, two, you know, discard traps. So once again, kind of combo, basically, um, and put the pieces you need in the graveyard. So not a revolutionary deck, but that is the main deck. On to the extra. I did play the Gaia. Yes, I did, you know, as new players of heroes do, not realize you need an elemental hero to summon this. But we have Stratos, and then we obviously have the three zeros. Uh, that are elemental heroes as well. Could only fit the one Chimera tech between the fusions and the fact that it's a diva deck. Armory Arm, that's a win condition right there. Uh, Cataster, Android, Flamville Dude, which honestly is starting to basically become a staple in general, but especially with the rise of Amaryllis that we're, we are or are not seeing. Um, Bryonic, Goyo, Black Rose, that's actually kind of hard to make. Um, so we only have one seven. 
uh, Stardust, Dark End, and then Colossal Fighter, other part of the win condition there, uh, with the OTK, obviously. So yeah, not a crazy extra deck, but a few actual choices went into it, opposed to like the zombie engine that's pretty standard. One Breaker of the Magical Warrior. This is, uh, you know, for deck devastation virus. It gets over it, but also it's for oppression and stuff like that. Cyber Dragon. This card is MST, obviously, for every card that is not called Royal Oppression. So it's a 21 body that eats back row. It's obviously, I don't need to explain why Cyber Dragon is good. Lightning Vortex, because going first in the format is like an insane advantage, and this lets you uh, go first, even though you're going second, basically. My body. Um, one of my friends has topped with Diva Hero Zombies at this point like a year or two ago, though, and he was maining this um, because he didn't like summoning Brio and getting bottomless or whatever. I was actually talking to him in the car on the way to the event, and he said if he would change one thing, it would be taking out the My Body. So this was also a compromise based on just cards I had physically available. But yeah, one My Body is a shield, and the logic being to protect the Brio. Uh, mind Control, once again, going first is OP, but going second and taking their thing is really good. No Minimum Extermination for, I guess, GBs, but also the fact that I only play the one bottomless and don't play D-Prison, so I can just go fishing for those as well. No Women to Cross Out. Don't play Raikou, so you can hit them. One Deck Dev, uh, really good if you get it off, but you basically just have Kaios and Gores and Synchros to use it. Uh, Dust Tornado, pop whatever, one random D-Prison, this is the most random card in the side deck by far, and also dictated by what I physically have, but, um, this would be a Mask of Restrict if I was able to locate them in time for the events. Uh, I have a funny story, too, about that. Uh, so two Traps Done, and then two Pulling the Rug as the last cards. Pulling the Rug is such a good card that that was pushing me off of playing, like, Machinas, which are one of my favorite archetypes. Uh, but anyway, the story is that I was so rushed in putting the deck together uh, that when the build that I physically brought that I would have had at the tournament, uh, I forgot to grab a Dark Arm Dragon, and I had two Mirror Forces in the deck. So, obviously, like, I know enough people or whatever that people would have got me a dark arm before the actual event started but uh yeah <laughs> i guess that's just kind of funny yeah so that is the diva hero zombies i was watching the stream of course and actually i saw that round one diva hero zombies uh were victorious on stream so i guess not the most atrocious meta call but once again i basically played the deck because i could play uh dark armed caius and zero all in one deck, which I think, uh, you know, three boss monsters, one deck. And again, it's not like they're being forced and pigeonholed or whatever into the deck. These The deck can just support playing all three of them. And yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the build, I guess. Once again, there's not necessarily a standard build. Uh, and yeah, if you were able to go to the event, I hope you had fun, etc. Uh, if not, join one of the online ones sometimes, guys. The online Edison community is very active even if there's not like a scene in your local area you can definitely get into it uh online and it's like equally legitimate in some ways like you can't stack online so in some ways online wins are more legitimate versus like video games where that's definitely not the narrative um but yeah so thank you for watching and peace